Alright, back here with uh, a gas tank today, I guess. Uh, this is the gas tank out of the F-150 and uh, it's been sitting here for a while and I want to clean some stuff up out of the yard so I want to get rid of this thing and I was maybe thinking about using it for a slip tank or something for the Ranger but I'm never going to get around to it. Uh, so it's got a little bit of gasoline in it and it's been sitting for a couple of years and I sealed it all off and everything and I opened this cap up and it smells lively still so uh, I was a little cautious about how I was going to drain it and I was trying to look you know on the internet to see if anyone's got some videos or maybe a forum about it. There's some forums out there and people are saying to use a punch, like a metal punch and a hammer in the bottom of the tank or using a drill bit and drilling in the bottom of the tank. But uh, to me that all sounded kind of dangerous. Uh, I did think about drilling into the bottom of the tank with the drill bit, but I thought like as soon as you the drill drill bit enters the bottom of the tank, you know it's the drill bit has all those grooves in it, and the gas is just gonna pour down your hand and down the drill bit, you know onto the drill and cause a fire or whatever so I just got the idea of using a self drilling screw and the self drilling screw has like a little drill bit on the end of a on the screw I'll just show you I already put the screw into the tank but yeah it's just a screw that has threads on it with the drill drill bit end on the, the tip of it and you get a nice real sharp brand new one good pressure and like you I just went like slow and it just bit right in there there's no leak or nothing you know, coming out, you can see there's no gas leaking out of there. And so when I'm ready, I'm just gonna probably use a hand tool to take the screw out. And I'm just gonna stand the tank on, on this end into uh, like a bucket like this or something. and just drain all the gas into that bucket you know and dispose of it properly I'm not gonna let it all drain into the ground and uh, yeah I just got it propped up right now on this bag of soil or whatever it was just so it you know it doesn't seep overnight so I don't want to get into it. It's already later today and it's supposed to rain tonight and it's already later now and I don't want to start anything if it's going to be all rainy tomorrow. I don't have a garage or nothing so yeah and I did have some kindling and stuff here just to in case something exciting happened but no explosions nothing so yeah that worked uh i'll actually i'm gonna take this screw out and i'll show you guys exactly what it is i think the bit was yeah quarter inch quarter inch bit could have went with a bigger screw but i couldn't find anything Oh, that's tightening. Okay. Yep. So 
Maybe there's the screw. It's got a drill bit tip on the end and threads on there. Let's put it back in. But yeah, that's how I did it. And I do have a brushless drill. So that made me feel a little more secure about sparks and stuff, but uh, yeah, that worked really good. Just gonna put this screw back in. That's good. I could probably get the hole like a little bit bigger, like I'll just stick something in there and kind of stretch the metal out and make the hole bigger so it drains faster but there's not too much gas gas in there but yeah uh, hope that helps you guys out and yeah later <laughs>